Hello guys, welcome to my channel. In this video, I'm gonna show you how to fix Ryzen Master unable to initialize. It is a quick and easy tutorial, so let's get into it. This is what you need to do first. Just cancel the installation and restart your computer. Once that's done, try downloading a fresh version of the file directly from AMD official website and check if the issue reappears. Also, make sure you're logged in with an administrative account to ensure the download and installation go smoothly. Another option you can try is to open the search bar. Now type in Registry Editor. Once it appears, just select on Run as Administrator. If you're prompted by the User Account Control, tap on Yes to continue. Before diving into the registry, just back it up, just in case something goes wrong. This step is simple. Tap on File, then choose Export. Name the file with any name which you can easily remember. Set the export range to All, and save it to a location that's easy to access. With that in place, we're ready to proceed. Start by double-clicking on the HK Local Machine folder. Do the same for the System folder and then look for the current Control Set folder. Double-click it, then locate the Control folder and open it as well. Inside you'll find a folder named CI. Open it, now you should see the config folder, so click on it once. Take note of the file path at the top of the screen. This will show you the subkeys you've navigated through so far. Next look on the right side for a D-word value called Vulnerable Driver Block List Enable. Double-click on it and change the value data from 1 to 0. Once done, click on OK. If you don't see this value, right-click on a blank area, select New, then choose DWORD 32-bit value. Name it Vulnerable Driver Block List Enable. Set the value data to 0 and double-check it by clicking OK. After making these changes, just restart your computer to apply the modifications. Yeah, that's how to fix Ryzen Master unable to initialize. Thank you for watching. If this video is helpful, please leave a like and subscribe to my channel for more videos like this. And click on that notification bell to never miss an update.